Hi, what I've got for you today is a double convex lens problem. So this is a two lens problem with two convex, I just said convex, converging. Almost the same thing. Yeah, it actually is. Those are double convex. So two converging lens problem. A converging lens of focal length 12 centimeters sits 45 centimeters in front of another converging lens of focal length 24. All right, 24 here, 12 here. An object 25 centimeters tall sits 15 in front of the first lens. All right, so 25 centimeters tall. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, we want to know where's the final image, what is its orientation, and what is its size. So to do this, again, two lens problems, ignore the second lens. We've got our object and a lens. We're just going to treat that as a single lens problem. So lens one, we have the focal of 12. We have an object distance of 15. We have an object height of 25. But with these two, we can calculate where the image is formed. And now let's see, a focal of 12, but we're at 15. We're outside the focal length, which means we're going to have a real image. So a real image should have a positive DI, and if you do the calculation, you get a positive 60. All right, now that we have DO and DI, we can get the magnification, which is minus DO, no, DI <laughs> over DO. So minus 60 over 15, that would be a negative 4. All right, so we've got a magnification of negative 4, and we can calculate the image height, M times HO, negative 4 times 25. You can do that one in your head. What's four quarters? It's a dollar. 100. Oh, negative, negative. All right. So where is this image formed? We had 60 centimeters from our first lens. So 60 centimeters is going to be out here somewhere. And it's upside down and bigger. So here is our object from lens 1. And that's going to make the image for lens 2. All right. Upside down, bigger. Yeah, good. Now we can do lens 2. Now I'll go over here. What can we figure out about lens 2? We know the focal point of lens 2 is 24. And something just made a noise. Oh. <laughs> we know DO. Well, we can calculate DO, I should say. We need to know how far away the new object is from lens 2. Here's our object. Here's lens 2. We need to know this distance. So this is our new DO. We've got 60 here. 60 minus 45 leaves us with 15. And remember, this is always positive. Doesn't matter where it is, DO is always positive. The object height is doo -doo 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 -doo, negative 100. All right. And now we can do this. And if I have a DO of 15, but my focal's 24, I'm within the focal, which means it's going to be a virtual image, same side as the object, which means my DI should be a negative. What do I get? I get, I got a negative 40. And we can calculate the magnification, minus DI over DO. Negative, negative gives me a positive 40 over 15. Eh, two and something, two and two thirds, yep. 2.67. HI is the magnification times HO and 2.67 times negative 100. You can do that one in your head too. <laughs> Plus 267. Nope. Minus 267. There we go. All right. So where is this final image? The final image is from our second lens. It's virtual, so it's on the same side as the object, and it's 40 centimeters away. Our object was here at, that was 15. Object's at 15, and we need to go out to 40, so our new image for lens 2 is 40 centimeters away. And it's upside down and enormous, so <laughs> there. <laughs> image for lens 2 is something like this. We're 40 centimeters beyond the second lens, we're inverted, and it's 267 centimeters tall. So that's our final answer. 40 centimeters beyond the second lens, 
inverted 267 centimeters tall. So there's a double converging lens problem for the two lenses. Hope this was helpful.